Microsoft launched its tablet today, just in time for the holiday shopping season. Yeah, the Windows Surface is aimed to lure customers away from Apple's popular iPad market. But as consumer advocate Jen Strathman found out, not everyone is convinced it can do that. Microsoft is certainly excited, and so were dozens of people who waited in line for hours to get its new tablet, Surface, at a pop up kiosk in Beachwood Place this morning. About uh, 9 o'clock, we got here. So we were surprised as many people as there were here already. And we're more surprised than you more, so that's a good sign. The tablet features a new operating system, Windows RT, which is not Windows 8, as well as touchscreen and two kinds of detachable keyboards in different colors. Click. Now you can start to watch your movie in the airplane. Microsoft is pricing the Surface tablet at $499 for a basic model with 32 gigabytes. The keyboard will cost you an extra $100. That positions the Surface tablet as a competitor to Apple's iPad. I was getting ready to go get an iPad, but this one already comes with Microsoft Word for me to go to school with. And then it's, I like the futures and different things like that. But some analysts say you don't get enough bang for your buck with the Surface. It's kind of their response to all of these other devices, the, the iPads, the, the Android tablets of the world. Um, they, they sense that that is kind of a, a major trend and they feel like they're behind. For example, the Surface is Wi Fi only, no cell phone or LTE connection. The new operating system also syncs up the tablet with the Windows phone and laptop, making interconnectivity between devices rather easy. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5. Microsoft is also rolling out its new Windows 8 operating system over the next several days. Yeah, the familiar start icon in the low left corner is now gone. Instead, it features touch tiles on the screen to connect to apps that light up with the latest data. We have a demo of it, by the way, online at newsnet5.com.